Yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. And if you like the video at all, after I get into it, please hit the like button. It helps me out with the YouTube algorithm. Let's get right into it. Today, I'm going to tell you exactly why caffeine is not going to help you in this life. And not drinking it is going to make you feel a lot better. I'm going to get right into all the experiences that I've had over my 30 years, probably, because I can't really remember much before like age of three or four. So I'm 35, so it's about 31, 32 years of experience that I can remember. And I will say that I have had an experience with being hooked on caffeine and coffee overall. So I'm gonna explain why life is so much better without caffeine right now to you. Let's get right into it. So when I was a kid, and I'm sure when you're a kid, like when you're like 12, 11, 13 years old, you're not really, you don't really drink caffeine. You don't really drink coffee. It's just not something you really drink. And I, I mean, I don't know if you remember like the first time you ever drank coffee. I actually do. I remember drinking it as a kid and it really didn't do anything for me. I distinctly remember when I did drink caf uh, coffee. So anyway, so when we're younger, when we're like 12 or 13 and 14 and 15, I don't remember ever drinking coffee or anybody needed coffee in high school. It was only like the older people who drink coffee and like, oh, why do they need coffee? Oh, you know, they, they needed it for whatever reason, but... I remember I took a caffeine pill when I was in high school and it was not a, a pleasant experience. I remember being jittery and feeling weird and and I distinctly remember it was like a 200 milligram caffeine pill. It was like before the whole craze of coming out with like, you know, Red Bull or any of these energy drinks that have like a lot like about 100, 200, 300 milligrams of caffeine in it. So, I mean, for most people that don't know, a cup of coffee has, I think it's like less than 100 milligrams of caffeine in it or around and uh, Red Bull has like 200 milligrams of caffeine, but either way, um, so I remember the, the experience was not good. It didn't feel very good. I mean, I knew more, more kids in high school were taking Adderall rather than, rather than drinking caffeine. I mean, I, in fact, a lot of kids were taking Adderall actually, and no, no kids really drank caffeine. It just wasn't a thing. And you know, in college, I think maybe some people started, I don't even still remember anybody drinking coffee in, in college that much. I, I just remember people drinking, uh, taking Adderall. And then all of a sudden, as you get older, as you get older, a lot of people are starting to drink coffee. A lot of people are starting to drink coffee, coffee, and you know, they're drinking one, two cups in the morning, maybe cups later on, or they're drinking a lot of energy drinks or whatever, you know, all the other ways you can get caffeine into your body. And I was made to believe that at a point like we're getting old, we're getting tired, you know, whatever. Oh, we need caffeine. What I actually, what I actually discovered is very, very crazy. And that it, it's partly related sometimes to a couple of issues, but let's just talk about caffeine right now. I never, you know, I had periods where I, I didn't drink caffeine. I had just a lot of energy and I felt free and I felt great. And I felt, you know, awesome. Like I had unlimited energy and all of a sudden I, you know, I, I, I started drinking coffee and then I started drinking more. Like I started with one cup in the morning and then I would get to like two cups and then I, and then maybe I'd get like a even more like, you know, bigger coffee and maybe I'd have one in the afternoon after a while. So I'd have, I start with like one cup of coffee after a few days and I'd like, I'd build a dependency and then I would need maybe two cups. And then maybe a week later, I'm like, okay, I'm drinking two cups a day. Well, okay, now let's drink a third. I'm still tired. I wake up, I'm tired. I, I'm still tired like later, you know, I feel like I just need the cup of coffees to like just feel normal again. Okay, let's get a third cup of coffee. And now the dependency has been built to three cups and some people get more, four cups, five cups, whatever. I've heard, I've heard stories of people drinking, you know, crazy amounts of coffee or caffeine in general. And then, then what's going on is like, okay, we're getting older, you know, we're always tired, this is old age. And in fact, it is not. It is actually what I've found is that it's a dependency on caffeine and it's actually very difficult once you get on that train of let's say one or two cups and a third cup or whatever, it's actually a very difficult process in a way and it's not the most difficult process to get off. And I'll explain what that process is like shortly. So in, in order to get off, I'll, t I'll tell you exactly how, I, how to get off uh, later, but the reason how I figured out about how caffeine was like not good for us and was it, it's actually, it's actually like a, we're poisoning our body and we're built, it's like a drug and we're, we're making ourselves dependent on this drug and we don't actually need it because initially what it does is it gives you a, 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 a burst of energy and allows you to like, you know, go maybe a little bit harder, but it takes from you in the end and now you're dependent on it. And then later, and then after you're dependent on it, you're not as actually, you're, you're still tired. You need to just to be like almost normal. 
now that I've actually weaned myself off and I'm not on caffeine anymore, I actually have more drive and energy and I do things significantly easier than I did before, uh, but then when I was hooked. I mean, I'm literally, I wake up now at, I wake up in the morning now, let's say I wake up 7, 8 a.m. I've only slept six hours. I actually, I'm, I'm, I don't feel tired and I feel good. Like I feel like I wake up and, and I, 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 feel, I don't feel like super tired. I need to go to the coffee machine. I feel uh, very anxiety free. And when I was drinking coffee, I would wake up and I, it was very hard to get out of bed and I would just keep sleeping in because I own my own company. So I just keep sleeping in and I wake up at like, I wake up later than I wanted to and I'd still be tired. And then I drink coffee throughout the day and just to feel sort of normal. And then it would mess my sleep up. Uh, no, and then, and then, and then I would just, I would, I would just never get good sleep and I never, I thought I was getting a lot done, but I realized that it was, it, it's like, everything's a little harder, you know, you don't really need caffeine. So anyway, so I learned about it actually after I, after I read Alan Carr's easy to way to, uh, get rid of alcohol and it worked. I mean, it kind of worked for a little bit. I read I got his book, the easy way to quit caffeine by Alan Carr. And so I read this book and I don't even like reading books. I hate reading books. But they don't have an audiobook, so I was like, all right, so I'll buy it. And it's actually not that big, and I read it. And because it was accurate on the ca on the alcohol, the alcohol book was was accurate. I'm like, okay, well, let's see if it works for caffeine. Because, you know, I was drinking alcohol on the weekends, and I was, I'm hooked on caffeine during the week. So caffeine during the week, alcohol on the weekend. Don't feel great after drinking alcohol, drink caffeine. So it's like just a bad cycle of being dependent on these two drugs. And the book... It was accurate, it is exactly accurate. So what I did is, this is how I got off of caffeine. It was actually a pretty hardcore process. So I was drinking what, three, four cups maybe a day at the time. And I, 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 I couldn't get out of bed. I couldn't get out of bed at the first, okay, day one, I could not get out of bed. I just laid in bed until like, let's say I woke up at eight. I, I just kept sleeping, I slept. 10 a.m. I kept sleeping. Noon, woke up. I just laid in bed. Uh, no, the first day actually wasn't that bad. And then I, I think I went out, went on a run and done a lot of exercise. And then, the, then I would just get tired. I would just get tired constantly. I the second day was pretty rough. I same thing. Just slept, kept sleeping, kept sleeping. Wake up, tired, still tired. I didn't do anything. I just lounged. I was feeling depressed. I might was really tired in my head. It was like weird feelings. Then I would go for, I went for a run. I was going for like a three mile run. After a mile, I just got too tired mentally. And I, I literally had to go home and I drove home very tired on the freeway, like a mentally like, like, oh, like I was like, oh, made it home and just laid in bed for five hours in the middle of the day from 2 p.m. to like 6 p.m. And then all of a sudden I had a burst of energy and I got back up and I was working till like 3 a.m. And I think there, there was about three or four days of this lethargy where I just kept sleeping. There was no amount I couldn't, I just kept sleeping, kept sleeping and kept laying in bed, kept, I didn't do anything. And then all of a sudden day four or five rolls around for me. And now I'm like, I have this burst, burst of energy. I have like, I feel like I have unlimited energy. I don't need any caffeine and I can do, I, I just ended up working until like 3 a.m. and it felt effortless. And before it was just like, I felt like I was like, you know, like it was a hard, it was like I was pushing up a boulder up a hill, like I was doing things, but it wasn't like I didn't really necessarily want to do them that bad. And now I'm doing things because I, I truly actually want to do them. And I just, I have all, I have like almost too much energy now. It's crazy. And I feel like I'm like a kid again. And when I look around at everybody that's hooked to caffeine, I can tell, I can see like they're, what they did is I feel like you almost like you put a credit card in. You put a credit card, you bought, you bought your energy with credit card debt. And, and now you're, 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 you're running through the world on borrowed energy and you have a debt to pay to the credit card. And that debt you have to pay is the four or five days, the four days that I had to suffer through not feeling very good withdrawing from the caffeine. And, and you know, that, that's, that, that's the only way I knew that I, I could actually, I could, cause I did it before I did it once before I, I got off caffeine once before and I, I realized after I realized, oh, okay, it's fine. But I got hooked back onto it and only started with one cup of coffee. 
So it's it's so crazy that alcohol, like you know, this video is not about alcohol, but alcohol and caffeine, they're all around us, and specifically caffeine, it's everywhere. It's in it's in everything, coffee and all this stuff. And I mean, I mean, a really easy way to make a lot of money would probably be to make something with a lot of caffeine in it somehow, some way, and you know, you get people hooked. But I don't really know if it's a good thing to do to to make a product that you're basically building, you know, making people get dependent on something that they don't necessarily need, because without it, they probably feel good already. So it's just a very interesting thing that I that I figured out, and I figured out the hard way by being hooked on caffeine for I don't know. I have, I mean I have a Jura A A one, and I click the button and grind the fresh beans, and I have you know get instant coffee every day, but it didn't make me feel good, and and I just I, I can't explain the level of difference of how good you're gonna feel if you get off of caffeine. It it, it is going to be a game changer. You are going to vibrate way differently. Vibration of, that you're gonna give is way better. Um, interestingly enough too, the less you actually drink caffeine, I think it actually does correlate a little bit to the less you actually may desire alcohol too, because you know one's, one's a stimulant, one's kind of a, a depressant in a way, but I know that when you drink a lot of coffee, you, it also gives you more anxiety, which people who are more anxious, probably I would take a guess, are more likely to um, to drink alcohol. So weaning off of both is really ideal. Um, you know, I personally weaned off alcohol and then I weaned off caffeine and I've done that, I've done that. Uh, and it's, it's very interesting when you, when you wean off both, you realize, okay, these are the things that are holding us back and that are making us feel a lot older than we are. Uh, you know, they don't make us, they don't, they don't really do anything for us except they take our money and people think that they like caffeine because it gives them a high, but really they're, they, it does it gives them the high the first time and then it just takes from them and they have to drink it back to get it, the, how they used to feel back even a little bit. So super crazy, it's super interesting that, that the whole world, a lot of people are hooked on coffee and they all have their own, like, or caffeine and they all have their own reasons and why it happened. Why, oh, you know, like I've heard so many stories about caffeine, like. You know, when caffeine came around, it changed the world. People started working harder, you know, and then I've heard other people, you know, say some stuff, but I, I really think that it, it's possible to do things without caffeine. So anyway, it's actually really good to feel like a kid again. Uh, it's, it's amazing. I mean, being off of both of these alcohol and caffeine, it's really, it's really, um, it's so good that I just would not want to go back. I mean, I might end up going back. You never know. I mean, but at the current moment, it's it's pretty it's pretty nice not being on caffeine. Uh, regardless, like I said, you probably drink coffee. You're probably hooked on coffee. You love your coffee, you know. It's probably because you're hooked on a drug. So you, of course you're gonna love it. You're fucked if you don't drink it more. You're you're gonna be going through withdrawals, and a lot of people don't have the ability to hang tough like me for four days and be like not very like not very productive. Deal with all these like weird feelings and depression and you know super weird not and just feeling like you can't do anything it's a very weird feeling um like caffeine definitely has a huge grab on you and i never realized how much it does but without it people can't function what does that mean it means they're fucking hooked on a drug if they can't function without caffeine or coffee they need their coffee in the morning they're fucked you're fucking you guys are hooked on a drug it's no different than being hooked on Adderall, which is amphetamines and now you're hooked on you know you're fucking hooked on drugs and is there any difference between that than buying buying speed or on the street or meth on the street, which meth and Adderall is very similar. I mean, is it really that big of a difference? You know, it, you know, you're still hooked on a drug and you can't function without getting a stimulant in your body, in your in your in your brain. So, you know, it's so around us and it's legal, alcohol, caffeine, alcohol, caffeine, whatever, that it's okay. Society's made it totally okay. But in all reality, it doesn't I don't think it really does anything except allows people to be consumers and buy once they've been hooked on a drug. And I think it's the biggest scam in society. And I wouldn't be saying this unless I've, I've gone through it. I've gone through it multiple times and I've seen what it's like on both ends. And I've read a lot of books and I've tried everything about it. And I know for certain what I'm saying is accurate. So that's my story. If you want to feel like a kid again and you're, let's say in your twenties or thirties or forties or fifties or sixties and you're feeling old because you know, and you, you know, whatever, Get off alcohol, get off caffeine. It's not gonna come. It's not gonna come very easily. You know, you've been work um, living on borrowed energy, so you're gonna have to go through a little pain to get off of that caffeine. But once you do, trust me, there is light on the other side. There is light on the other side. And for me personally, it didn't take very long. 
only took about four or five, five days, five days maximum. And you know, my, I just feel incredibly better. It's amazing. And that's about it. Uh, please subscribe and watch the next video later.